Hi, welcome to MC University On Demand. My name is Eric, I'm one of the design engineers here at Matthews, and today we'll take a look at how to calibrate your infeed and discharge moisture sensors. We'll see what the sampling equipment looks like, as well as how to perform a calibration on an AccuDry machine. Let's get started. Sensor calibration is the process by which a user can ensure that the moisture sensors on a grain dryer match the readings of a certified grain testing device. During the calibration process, a sample of grain will be monitored by the sensor on the dryer, and then that same sample will be checked on a third-party tester to compare results. This process of ensuring that the sensor is reading accurately is vital for the efficient operation of a grain dryer. Environmental conditions, grain varieties, and even dryer cleanliness may affect the operation of the sensor, so it's important to make sure that the sensor always matches the one where grain is being sold. Matthews recommends that the sensor is calibrated periodically throughout the season or any time there's a significant change to incoming grain. Also, it's important to note that sensor calibration must be done while the dryer is running under normal operating conditions and while the discharge grain is coming out near your desired set point. Let's take a look at a few components. Here we see a DM510 sensor. This will be used on both the infeed and the discharge on an AccuDry machine. You'll get real-time moisture readings from the fin right here, and you'll get temperature readings from the RTD probe on the bottom. The infeed sensor will be located on the roof of a tower or the hopper of a profile and the discharge will be mounted on a sampler dependent on the machine. Here we can see a tower discharge sampler. You'll see the sensor is mounted on the back there and grain would be passing down from the top. It'll slowly move by the fin of your sensor and then leave out the bottom of the dryer. To take a sample, you'll get a bucket and put it underneath your sampling port here and open this handle. Once you have enough grain to take a sample, go ahead and close the handle and bring that inside to your tester. If you're operating a profile dryer, you'll need to locate the sampler, which is attached to your discharge. Grain will be exiting through this discharge tube here, and some of it will enter the sampling box. It'll slowly move down the sampling box, moving past the sensor, which is mounted on the back, and will then be pulled up by this mini auger to leave with the rest of the grain. To take your sample, slowly lift on this flange here, and let grain trickle out of this tube into your bucket. It should take about 30 seconds to a minute to get a good enough sample size. You can look through this port here and make sure that the grain is not getting below the sensor fin. If the grain goes below the sensor fin, it'll read incorrectly until it's fully covered again. Take your sample inside and test it on your tabletop tester. Now that we've seen how to take a sample, let's walk through the calibration process. First, go to your HMI, Click the settings button on the ribbon, followed by the sensor calibration button. You'll have the option to do a walkthrough talking about the steps that we're covering here, but for now you can skip that walkthrough and go directly to the sensor calibration page. Next, hit start calibration and you'll notice that the wait button begins flashing green. This will do so for the next 20 or 30 seconds while the sensor takes a live sample of grain. During this time, you want to go to the dryer and get that sample. Once you have the sample, you can bring it inside to your third-party tester. We recommend that you run the grain through the tester three to five times and average the results. Take the average that you came up with here and go back to the HMI. You'll have to wait until the wait button is no longer flashing green, but instead the ready button is solid green. If this is the case, you can tap on the white box and enter the value that you've gotten. Hit enter and then confirm calibration. Once the pop-up appears confirming that the calibration was applied, you'll want to read and see if any further calibrations are necessary. If no further calibrations are necessary, you've successfully calibrated your moisture sensor. That's it for this video. Today we've talked about how to correctly calibrate your moisture sensor to a certified testing system on an AccuDry controlled machine. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for a future video, you can email us at media at matthewscompany.com. As always, thanks for watching.